this year's award recipients. That's a pretty cool job. You got to be president of the United States, you know, <laughs> run, run around the jungles, you know, go fly the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> hang out with Chewbacca. <laughs> but when he looks at himself in the mirror every single morning, he says, I'm an aviator. That's how he defines himself. I, I, I had, the, I've been, had the good fortune of meeting Harrison over 20-some years ago and flying with him many times. And his reverence for the art form, his reverence for the art form of flight is unparalleled. In fact, Bob Hoover said, Sean, he's just Cracker Jack. <laughs> Typical Bob Hoover. And then another time, Bob Hoover's drinking too much wine, he says, that Harrison Ford is a magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> so, I, 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 just, I just gotta tell you how much Bob res respected and loved you, Harrison. And when, when uh, everything you did to enable Bob to stay relevant and give him the courage to be relevant to the day he died is, is he really, really appreciated that. Uh, so before we get Harrison up here, let's see the real guy, the real Harrison Ford, the aviator. Please welcome. You ever have a flying dream? I have. One of the first dreams I remember as a kid was a flying dream. I was just walking along this road and I, and I sort of pressed down on my feet and opened my arms and suddenly I was soaring right over the telephone wires on a, on a familiar stretch of road. It's unbelievable. You ever had one of those? A lot of, a lot of us have. The dream of flight. First realized more than a century ago over a remote North Carolina shore, and its freest expression today is still in American skies. The legacy of flight is something that's, that's really particularly American. Harrison Ford is dedicated to that legacy. He joyfully shares aviation with young people. I really think it's important that we, that we create uh, the opportunity for, for a new generation of pilots. And so I've been involved for the last five years, five years or so with the EAA's um, uh, Young Eagles program flying uh, uh, kids uh, in private airplanes, in, in general aviation airplanes, giving them a sense of what that uh, experience is like. He flew the two millionth Young Eagle at AirVenture. This one particular flight, I remember for a long time, was really, really fun. He's been at the controls of his citation flying young athletes to the Special Olympics. And he's used his celebrity to encourage others to contribute their time and aircraft to humanitarian efforts. He's flown rescue missions in the Tetons, doctors and supplies to earthquake-ravaged Haiti. Environmentalists monitoring pollution in the Hudson River. He is the most famous spokesman for general aviation. I'm Harrison Ford. I am a general aviation pilot. And I'm here on behalf of more than 500,000 Americans who fly small planes. And he can always be counted on to talk common sense to Congress. People don't understand, a lot of people don't understand that general aviation uh, serves small businesses. It serves the emergency air support uh, of the EMS and search and rescue. Harrison Ford is a pilot's pilot and he has shown the leadership and passion for aviation demonstrated by Bob Hoover himself. I believe we have a responsibility to uh, uh, vouchsafe the future of aviation for generations to come. of all you've done for general aviation and the passion that keeps moving us, please come up here and accept the third Bob Hoover Trophy. 
<laughs> it's heavy. I'll, I'll help you hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. This is humbling to stand here before you and accept this very high honor from a man who I immensely respect, who I love, who is doing incredible things in the name of Bob Hoover. Sean asked um, Bob if he could, in honor of Bob, and in respect of what aviation can mean, how aviation can be used to change lives, if he could create the Bob Hoover Academy in Salinas, California. I just was there two days ago. And Sean, with his passion, with his energy, with his soul, has created, in honor of Bob, a school that now is serving in partnership with the Monterey School District, he's created a program for kids that are in dire need of, 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 of being recognized, being uh, given a chance, uh, and he's created a, 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 an alternative high school. There are 19 students there, young kids that live in a in a place with a you know hard by uh, shoulder to shoulder with Monterey, uh, California, where nice people live in nice houses and enjoy the beauty of the sea and the rolling hills. There's an agricultural community named Salinas, called Salinas, that is uh, growing the food that we eat and has a, a migrant community. And it's a community that's marginalized, that's beset by gangs and indifference and inequity, and Bob, uh, Bob has inspired Sean to create, using the metaphor of aviation, using the metaphor of flight, to use Bob's legacy to create social justice. He's helping kids, one at a time, pull themselves up out of dire circumstance. And, and it's, an, it's an amazing thing to say, to see. You've got to go online. You gotta, you've got to Google the Bob Hoover Academy, Salinas, California. You've got to see what's being done in Bob Hoover's name by Sean D. Goddammit Tucker. <laughs> God bless America, and God bless Sean D. Tucker. Because our love of aviation, our respect for the legacy of aviation, our understanding of what it can mean is being used to bring these kids one by one, boys and girls, up to be productive, real, strong people. And, and damn it, this deserves, if we love and we respect Bob Hoover, and we love and respect 
Sean D. Tucker, we got to help out here. We got to be part of this effort. We've all got to come together and make this a problem, a, a, a program that can be replicated, that can be used to advance aviation, to advance social justice, to advance humanity. And I'm humbled to be here. This is, you know, there, there are a lot of people that, sh that should be here uh, instead of me. I just, I just work here. And I'm, and damn it, it's just, it, it's, you know, it's great, but it's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, do that for me, will you? Do that for Bob Hoover. Go look at the Bob Hoover Academy, Salinas, California. See what, see what Sean's doing. Use this as an example to motivate your lives, all of our lives, to use aviation as a metaphor for our society. God bless America. Yeah, baby. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and Harrison, I'm, I'm just so deeply touched, and, and, and um, I couldn't afford him to pay him to do that. I mean, but it's so deeply touched, but this is what we are as a family here. And when you dig down, when you dig down deep, we're here for, to make this world a better place, and we are doing it. So have a great evening. That's the end of the evening. And like Harrison said, the three best words in the English language is God bless America. Yeah, baby.